The latest gameplay footage from Hyrule Warriors focused on Agatha from Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Agatha battles with a parasol, can call upon insects for assistance, and more. She is not truly a member of any royal family. She lives in a castle in the western thoroughfare of Hyrule Castle Town and is a collector of golden bugs. According to a card in the official trading card deck, as well as in Nintendo's guidebook, she is only 10 years old. The first episode of Free Eternal Summer brought along with it the second volume of the light novel series that the anime was based on, in High Speed 2. The latest volume introduces several new characters during the Swimming Boys middle school days, which includes Sosuke Yamazaki, who made it debut in the first episode of the current series to promote the new volume. In the meantime, the grown-up schoolboys are currently promoting Japanese convenience store chain Lawson for the second time to follow up their successful first promotional campaign. Fans can get their original clear files and other prizes by stampeding into the store during the event period starting on the 8th of July while supplies last. Mikoto has a special role in luring fans to Lawson stores while wearing glasses and an apron so they collect stamps for the original tapestry of him in cafe attire. We all know Sunrise will produce Yoshiyuki Tomono's Gundam Reconquista in G with the anime adaption of Yoshikazu Yashihoko's Gundam The Origin for the 35th anniversary of the Mobile Saint Gundam franchise in the coming years. Moreover, the company has already started planning the next anniversary project five years from now. Gundam's 35th anniversary project today launched the teaser site for the Real G Next Project. The upcoming project to build a new scale mobile suit statues for the franchise's 40th anniversary in 2019. Following the famous RX-78-2 Gundam model in front of Diver City Tokyo Plaza on Oda Iba, Tokyo, seemingly the teaser site will soon reveal the names of the mobile suits. Which mobile suit do you want to see in full scale? Comment below! Public Security Intelligence Agency is Japan's primary counterintelligence and counterterrorism organization. Based on the Subversive Activities Prevention Act, the agency conducts intelligence activities regarding those organizations which have a potential for subversive terrorist activities. The surprising change in its latest recruitment pamphlet, which is now available on its official website, is that unlike the previous years, it features two anime-style characters for the first time. However, it's not uncommon anymore to find anime-style characters in promotional campaigns, especially in Japan, like the mascots for the Ministry of Public Management, Home Affairs, Post and Telecommunications. But for the public image of the agency, this approach is a prize to many. What do you think? And that's all the anime news for today. Tune in next time for more news.